Guys, you got to check out our friends at Simply Carbon Fiber. They are your guys for anything carbon fiber. If you can name it, they make it. They offer all kinds of products, from phone mounts to jewelry and everything in between. My personal favorites have been the wallets and the phone cases. I'm using the Real Carbon Fiber Cash and Card Slim Wallet. Guys, I love it. Fold cash up, put it into the clip in the back, store up to seven cards in the wallet itself. The Forge Carbon Fiber Wallet is another great choice for those of you who are looking to upgrade your wallet. As for phone cases, the iPhone 13 Pro, Real Carbon Fiber case from the Classic Series. Guys, it's great. The Carbon Fiber is super tough and it currently is protecting my phone right now. For all of your carbon fiber needs, head on over to simplycarbonfiber.com or click on the link below. Make sure you use my promo code CHAIL10. That's going to get you 10% off your order. All right, Paulo Costa, Chemayev. I'm assuming you guys have seen this clip. This clip is going everywhere. So they're at the PI. PI, Performance Institute, UFC Center, open all hours, and you can do anything you want there. You could live there. There's a room to take a nap in. There's food. There's water. There's a computer to go entertain yourself. I mean, it's truly somewhere you can go live. Everybody's welcome. And it's very important when you're at the PI that you understand that. I don't love guys that train at the PI. When I, whenever I hear about that, it kind of bothers me. First off, the PI has never produced a world champion. So just, just from Jump Street, I find it to be a problem. But secondly, this is a place to come and rehab. This is a place to work. Las Vegas is a hub. If you're in town, you've got to do some business. You've got to do a level of media. You're coming in and taking a show. You're in transit. UFC is providing a facility. And I feel as though I'm very familiar with that. The Olympic Training Center is a big thing that we have in wrestling. But the Olympic Training Center has not put anybody on a world or Olympic team that I can even remember. And I follow the sport very close. But it's not meant for that. It's, 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 it's transit. People can come in and they can meet from all locations. They got somewhere to sleep. They got some food. They come to the room. They pick up some techniques. They share some ideas. They go back to their training centers. And you'll get some other people that misinterpret that and want to go and make that home. And this isn't Chael's opinion to put anybody down, but Chael will observe and tell you they haven't put anybody on a team in a meaningful period of time, but neither is the PI. It's a big deal when I find out somebody's training at the PI. It's like, okay, are you saying that to be nice? Are you saying that to get to show Dana a level of respect for all the money and effort that he went to that. I appreciate that. But do you really mean it? Because those aren't your teammates. These are guys from all over. Now, this is a relevant concept that you have to understand. You really have to understand that if you go into the PI, you got to leave your guns at the door. You must. Because this is, this is a beautiful thing that somebody's doing. You can't have something ugly take place. You just can't. You run into insurance problems, you run into security problems, you just can't. If it's a gym and you're training there, there's a level where you must be a team atmosphere, but they're not. They're not a team. They're not teammates. There is not a head coach. There is nothing about it that when any fighter ever states, where do you train? And he responds, PI, don't bet on that guy. Now, let's go into what happened. You've got Paulo Costa. Paula Costa is getting work with Jake Shields. Now, there are a few minds that you could work with that would be better than Jake Shields. Truly few alive. And Paula Costa and Jake don't overly know each other. Important part of the story. I also need to make sure that you understand Paulo Costa on social media, Paulo Costa through the media, Paulo Costa in fight media. He is just a terrific character. He truly is. He wants to be known as the eraser. People call him the Terminator. He's so frightening, people don't even call him by his nickname. They've given him a new one. All right? When I met him on the set of The Ultimate Fighter, he's a very handsome guy. And he used to be a power lifter. And I can stop you right there. There was nothing else. And I got a sheet. Vandalay got the same sheet. It had his name. It said Power Lifter. You got to look at him. He's body beautiful. And off you go. He wasn't this personality that he is now. He wasn't the charisma that he is now. He wasn't as charming as he is now. He wasn't as engaging. He wasn't as humorous. He just wasn't those things. He's worked in this. Now he pops on screen. 
And it's relevant if you saw this piece. This piece doesn't work without his personality. So you've got Paula Costa doing a workout with Jake Shields. It's just the two of them. Now, when you see that, you assume that this is coach and student. You assume that there's this long relationship. It gets revealed later to us. They, they just met. Paula Costa knew he's, he's got a great mind to pick, and he asked Jake, can you work with some stuff? And Jake says, yes, it's very relevant because Ian rolls the Chechnyans. So, <laughs> right, I mean, you want to talk about a presence? You, you want to talk about somebody that pops on screen? So is Chemayev. Maybe without all of uh, the same muscles, but he pops just the same. There's something interesting when Shemaev appears. Can we agree on that? I don't know the backstory. These guys don't even speak the same language. These guys are not in the same weight class. These guys don't have the same goal. Somewhere they got heat. Paulo Costa apparently said something, and Chemayev hears it all. So Chemayev comes in, and he's got a group with him. The way the story is told is Chemayev comes in with 20 guys. He was. He, he, had, he had his team with him. And he probably did have six or seven guys. There was a group of them. There just wasn't 20 guys, just to correct that. However, there's a group versus Paulo Costa and Jake Shields. How do you think this is going to go? Well, it went nowhere. Neither one, they came, they met right in the middle is where that went. Nobody took a step backwards, and it starts with Shemayev coming in, seeing Paulo, and saying something. Something along the lines of, why did you talk about me? And I'm getting you real close on this story, guys, but the audio is a little bit bad, and the video, I'm, I'm getting you, I got you 99% there. Don't think you need to correct me in detail. If you saw something better than I did, good for you, but I, I'm close enough for the story's purposes. And what I found most interesting to the whole thing, okay, is when this mob decides to confront Paulo Costa, it is now them versus Costa and Jake. And Jake even talked about it. He said it really lightly, but it was the most interesting part of this whole story. Is Jake said, hey, we had just met him, but you know, he got some problems. I'm going to have his back. And he did. And people forget that about Jake Shield. Like, the scrap pack only got four members, and Jake's one of them. It's the Diaz boys, Gilbert and Jake. Like, people forget about that, because Shields is, you know, he comes, he's this nice guy, and everybody likes him, and he shakes hands, and he speaks nicely, and he's handsome, and it's like all these things, and people forget. People forget that's a rough guy. <laughs> I mean, this isn't about who would have won. You know, there's six guys versus two. I'm not trying to give you a breakdown here. I, I did it and numbers matter. Let's just be glad nothing like this happened. But it was still interesting. I had a pride. I had a, I had a massive pride in Jake Shields. Been a friend of mine for a very long time. And I knew the kind of guy he was. I knew that. I knew that's the way. But I didn't know he didn't know Paul Acosta. I didn't know he's only known Paul. Follow 30 minutes longer than he knows them. 30 minutes versus you're nothing. I roll with this guy. Two on six. Well, <laughs> how are we going to do this? Who's first? There's something about that that brings me a pride. And I just wanted to tell you the story.